because it's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. I was spending the whole summer here with my little sister Elsie. We were staying with Auntie Jules and Uncle CJ at the Mill on the Marsh. Auntie Jules had taken Elsie out to buy a new summer dress, so I got Grandpa all to myself. And so our hero escapes from Bongal Island. Yeah! <laughs> Uncle CJ was doing some last minute tidying up because a new guest was about to arrive. He's early. Oh, put that stuff away, please, Josh. Who's the new guest? Rodney Ramshackle. Very pleased to meet you. Rodney Ramshackle. Ramshackle, eh? <laughs> Unfortunate name. Why? What does it mean? Well, a ramshackle means you're all over the place. You know, chaotic, a mess. I hope it's not as bad as he sounds. In here, this room. Jolly good. Oh, oh I seem to have got something cool. I think he is. Oh, what a fabulous place. Come and meet the family. Oh, uh, please, oh dear. <laughs> pleased to meet you. <laughs> very pleased indeed. Oh, yes. I can tell I'm going to be very happy here. Are you planning to stay for a long time? Oh, it's the cases. Made you think... <laughs> no, these are all my souvenirs. I'll show you. Rodney's a souvenir salesman. Beach huts. Shells. Seagulls. <laughs> Coloured sand. You name it, I've got it. Yes, Rodney Ramshackle wanted everyone to buy a souvenir of Sunny Sands. Looks like you've got a lot of souvenirs to sell, Rodney. I have. Mrs Ramshackle, that's my dear mother, she usually helps me, but she's poorly. She hurts her leg when she tripped over one of my glow-in-the-dark lighthouses. All my fault. She's had to stay behind. Oh dear, sorry to hear that. So, to make up for it, I'm going to sell every single one of my souvenirs, and I'm not going home until I do. <laughs> We'd be happy to help. Oh no. No, I've got to do this all by myself. I can't have any help. For Mother, you see, I want to make her proud of me. <laughs> Best of luck. I know what to say. She's written all the words down for me. Now, I've got the piece of paper here somewhere. Then Rodney's phone rang. That'll be Mother, making sure I'm all right. <clears throat> Hello, Mother. This is your Rodney. Now, Rodney, my lovely boy, I want you to keep very calm. Do you hear, dearie? She wants me to keep very calm. <laughs> yes, we heard. Just concentrate really hard on the words, dearie. I know you can do it all by yourself. She knows I can do it all, all... by yourself, yes, we heard. <laughs> I'll make you as proud as punch, Mum, I will, I promise. Rodney was very nervous about doing this without yes. his mum. I will clean my teeth and wash behind both my ears. Bye! <laughs> right, I'd better get to Miss Smiley's cafe. That's where I'm going to sell everything. Well, Josh and I need to go to the cafe to pick up some cupcakes. Would you like a lift in Campo? Oh. Oh no, that will be helping, and I'm not letting anyone help me. <laughs> Up to you. Oh, well, I can manage. <laughs> Here we go. I'll see you out. Ramshackle by name and ramshackle by nature. I think he is going to need some help. Don't you, Grandpa? I do, but we'll have to help him without him knowing, because he's determined to do it all by himself. Good job I've got this. Not the shinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can. When Grandpa shrinks, he likes to run and jump about all over the place. And I just can't stop him. He does loot the loops in Jason's plane. He zooms around in the toy car. Come back! He chaffs about in the Sunny Sands train. Today he was going to
to take the helicopter, but Uncle CJ came in. Oh, I didn't know Grandpa was going for a little lie down. Come on, Josh. Now was Grandpa's chance. He took off and flew out of the window. So off we went in Campo. And Uncle CJ said... We should have asked Grandpa if he wanted to come with us. He doesn't get out much. I didn't know what to say to that, so I just said... Windy today, isn't it? And it was windy. When we arrived at Miss Smiley's cafe, there was no sign of Grandpa. Rodney Ramshackle was already there and already causing chaos. And Miss Smiley's lovely niece, Jasmine, was trying to help him. But... Thank you, Jazz, but I'll do this all by myself. <laughs> For Mother, you see, I want to make her proud. OK, but... Rodney, whatever you say. Ah, oh, CJ! You've come for your cupcakes. How many was it you wanted? Uh, four. I was worried about Grandpa. He should have been here by now. The winds were very strong and he was finding it hard going. Thanks, Jazz. Come on, Josh. Back to the mill. Uh, I had to wait for Grandpa, so I needed an idea. Can we have an ice cream sundae? Please. They look so yummy. They do, don't they? Go on, why not? At last, Grandpa arrived. By now, the cafe was full of customers. He crept in while nobody was looking. Well, nobody except me. And he was just in time. Because Rodney Ramshackle was about to do his selling. Come on, Rodney. You can do it. Ladies and jelly babies. Uh, uh, gentlemen, today I would like to show you all of my uh, soup, sp soup spoon. Soup spoon. Soup so, souven souvenirs. Souvenirs of, uh, oh, where are we? Breezy Beach. Wafty waves. Sunny sands. No, no, that's not right either. Um, oh, I've forgotten everything. I I'm a hopeless souvenir. I'm hopeless. Grandpa tried to get closer, but then Rodney fell off the stage. Rodney! I saw something move. A mouse. We're in my auntie's cafe. Possible. You're just getting yourself in a state, Rodney. This was a disaster. Rodney Ramshackle had nearly seen Grandpa. Let me help you. No, you mustn't. I have to do this all by myself. Grandpa needed to talk to me. Grandpa. We knew Rodney would need help, and we were right. But I can't think of how to do it. If only he had his mother. It doesn't look like he can do anything without Mrs Ramshackle. Josh, you're a genius. You've just given me an idea. Now, this is what we'll do. Uncle CJ and Jasmine were trying to calm Rodney down. If I can't remember the words, then I won't sell any souvenirs. And then Mother will never be proud of me. I so miss Mother. <laughs> Why don't you just read the words off the piece of paper? No, no, I'm, I'm supposed to know them. Well, maybe I could read them for you. No, that would be cheating. Oh, I give up. Maybe an ice cream sundae would help. <sighs> How many more times? I don't want any help. Oh, then, <laughs> have one just for fun. It was time to put Grandpa's plan into action. He ran over to Rodney's suitcase. He was looking for something. And he found it. Rodney's words. Grandpa was ready. Now it was up to me. <laughs> Rodney, what if you imagined your mother was with you and you could hear her doing your speech? Do you think that would help me remember the words? That's a great idea. You'll still be doing it all by yourself. Why don't you give it a go? I will. I'll think really hard about Mother and imagine her saying the words in my head. Is that what you mean, Josh? Exactly. <laughs> Grandpa was standing by. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to show you uh, all of my uh, lovely souvenirs of... Uh, sunny sands, dearie. Sunny sands. <laughs> I have some lovely... Um, lighthouses. Lighthouses that glow in the dark. And don't forget the pretty beach huts. Pretty beach huts, which are also money boxes. <laughs> Do tell them about...
about the cheeky seagulls. Cheeky seagulls? Which would look rather nice and in the And once he got going, he didn't and need uh, Mrs. Ramshackle. Grandpa had done it. Oh, cockle shell soaps. One, two, three, four. And much, much more. All at very reasonable prices. So please, come and take a closer look. Now everyone wanted to buy Rodney souvenirs. Grandpa's job was done, so he ran out of the cafe. He wanted to get home before we did. He managed it just in time. Grandpa landed the helicopter, took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh. Oh. As soon as we got home, I ran in to find Grandpa. Josh, we did it. You, me... And Mrs Ramshackle. And it was all because of teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> I bought a squeaky shark for Wolfie and a fishy fridge magnet for you. As a souvenir. Perfect. It will always remind me of Rodney. Grandpa, you're up. I'll make some tea and we can have... Cupcakes. Oh, good. I'm thirsty. All that talking. Rodney was brilliant. He sold all his souvenirs. Oh, I'm glad it went well. Well, it was a bit of a shaky start, but he didn't need any help at all in the end. Oh. His mother would have been proud. Oh, yes. I'm very proud of my lovely boy because he did it all by himself. <laughs>